Back in chapter one, we introduced uh, vocabulary terms that would indicate um, either subtraction or addition. And we worked on translating those into mathematical statements. And we're going to do the same thing here, um, but we're going to particularly focus on subtraction. Um, and the reason is because subtraction is not commutative. Okay? We understand that, um, you know, 9 minus 3 is not the same thing as 3 minus 9. These are not the same at all. And so the order that you put um, the numbers involved in subtraction in really matters. And uh, let me just make a quick note here before I do these examples that this video goes along with both this subsection, uh, which uh, is 2.3b, and 2.3c. So when you go to 2.3c, um, there won't be any videos there, but that's because this is also the video you're going to want to look at for um, those problems. So the first one we'll attack here is the difference of 3 and 9. So whenever you see the words the difference of, um, that of course indicates subtraction, but the key here is that you put that subtraction in the order it's given. So when we say the difference of 3 and 9, that means put the 3 first and put the 9 second. The next example, it says 3 subtracted from 9. That's actually going to be the opposite order of the previous one. We're actually going to say 9 minus 3. Now why is that? It's telling us to take 3 subtracted from 9. Well, if you're going to subtract from 9, the 9 has to be there in the first place. And so when you see these, uh, these words subtracted from, you should know I'm going to have to flip-flop the order that the numbers are given in. 3 minus 9, we just keep that same order, just like when we see the difference of. 3 taken away from 9. Again, if you are going to take away from 9, the 9 already needs to be there. So this is another one where we have to flip-flop the order that the numbers are given in the sentence. 3 less 9 would just look like that. Same order. And this is tricky. If I just add the word than, 3 less than 9, well, that's where we're going to have to flip-flop the order. Because if you're going to take 3 less than 9, the 9 already has to be there as well. So this is what makes subtraction tricky, that uh, sometimes we write the numbers down in the order that they're given. Uh, other times we have to flip-flop them, and we just have to think about how the statement is worded. Now in this section, you're going to have um, plenty of... Um, plenty of problems to interpret that involve addition as well. Um, you should be fairly um, fairly comfortable with the vocabulary terms involving addition from chapter one.